Watch how quickly germs can spread without social distancing. Our friend's first mistake is that he sneezes into his hand and then immediately shakes the hand of his coworker. Our friend's next mistake is that he invades the personal space of his coworkers, and then he fails to maintain an appropriate distance to stop the spread of germs. Notice that the staff room is jam-packed with people. As our friend leans on the table, he spreads germs to his nearby coworkers. Now all it takes to transfer a virus is for one coworker to touch the table and then touch their face. Our friend still hasn't washed his hands, and as he gets food, he touches the fridge and potentially puts his coworkers at risk by spreading germs on the handle. Next time, our friend should consider sanitizing commonly used surfaces and items, such as door handles, tables, smartphones, and keyboards. How to avoid the spread of germs using social distancing. Now our friend has finally learned his lesson. Instead of walking in and shaking the hands of his coworkers, he practices social distancing and keeps his distance. This time, our friend washes his hands before he goes to the fridge. Wow, he's fast! Notice the difference in the staff room? The staff are further spaced apart and there's less people overall in the staff room. This helps create a situation where there's less germs being spread. Here's a list of some of the things that you can do to help prevent the spread of disease through distancing and by limiting contact with germ sources. If you'd like to find more information on social distancing or health-related topics, visit our website at centrallamptonfamilyhealthteam.com.